So that makes perfect sense. Now I'm going to ask how in a business model it gets applied. So for like Atelier, you have large organizations and an ABM marketing model, sales model that you're following. You have individual customers that you're marketing to and you're nudging. So does the nudging strategy work at both ends of those spectrum? It does. You don't always call it the nudging strategy, as we said before. Most of us are doing it in everyday life without thinking about it. You won't get someone make a life-changing choice or a small choice, just deciding what to eat for dinner or deciding what the TV package or what the phone package, how many gigabytes of surf do I need? You always have to find the essence and the need. And a great way of doing that is just staying curious and trying to listen in. So if you turn it into a content centric world, if you train your agents to actually listen to the customer, ask a few questions to the customer to have the customer clarify the need and the whys behind that need, then you find out exactly how to take care of that customer, how to help that customer and get them what they actually need. And if you're in it for the long term, you will give your customer what they need and not maybe what's best for your two week profit 